Hello, and welcome to another episode of Unboxing with Paul. And today, I'm excited to give a company from the West Coast a shot at proving themselves. I'm talking about Poetic Cases, an up-and-coming company that has reached out to me asking if I can review their cases. This is not a paid promotion. I will be as honest and as fair as I possibly can. So that being said, I apologize ahead of time if this is not um, what you guys intended to see. But let's go ahead and take a look at them. Today, we're going to be unboxing the Poetic case for the Samsung Galaxy A02s as well as the Revolution case for the same phone. It seems to be that Poetic has these two style cases for the majority of the phones, if not, they have uh, sometimes more styles. But these will be the ones that tend to be standard for the majority of their lineup. Now, it seems to be that our Garden series is more of a sturdier, more of a clear plastic style one. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, Poetic has sent me these cases, like I said earlier, to go ahead and review. And here is their boxes. Um, you guys already know that I always take a look at packaging. However, it seems that in order to keep costs down, uh, Poetic kind of went with, uh, you know, like a cheaper plastic, cheap, I mean, cheaper packaging because this is just cardboard. Let's go ahead and take this open. So it comes in this nice little foam packaging so that it doesn't get banged up during shipping. Let's go ahead and take out all the contents of our box. Um, move all this. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and put this aside. So now what I like about this garden case in particular, as I said earlier, is that it seems to be uh, more of a clear case. We have a polycarbonate plastic back that gives you more of a glass feel to it, you know, or at least it gives you the transparency and the clarity of glass without you having, you know, you having to worry about broken glass everywhere. Uh, let's go ahead and says um, separating front case from rear case like so. Um, Let's go ahead and take our phone out so that we can try it out. And see how well this case fits. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off. We're gonna go ahead and take off the front part off as well to reveal another polycarbonate front, um, well, which is, you know, in, in all fairness, it is pretty clear, it is pretty nice. So um, let's go ahead and pop this bad boy in here. And let's go ahead and pop it in here. Oh, it looks like we got a little, we got some trash on the inside. That's okay, let's go ahead and take it out. So we don't want that underneath our screen <laughs> bothering us. All right, we should be all good. I'm gonna try this again. Okay. So now, Poetic, uh, from what I was reading, this case in particular, again, polycarbonate back, polycarbonate front, but more than anything, what it was advertising was that the size, or at least the lining of the case, was made out of, uh, what was it? Thermal plastic polyurethane? which is just a really high grade polymer. And without getting too technical, all that means is that it's a really, really versatile plastic that is able to have its properties adjusted based on its chemical compound. Now that polymer in particular is great, it's amazing because it is impact resistant, it is abrasion resistant, and it is also grease and oil resistant, which I don't know if you guys have noticed, but at the end of the day, we're all looking a little bit shiny. That's because we make oils, we produce a lot of oils. And think about it, not only are you touching your phone all day long with your greasy little fingers, <laughs> you also put it up to your face again when you're making phone calls and just all the oils from your, from your face. 
um, especially if you're a guy with a beard or if you're a girl that wears a lot of makeup, all that gunk just gets caked up on your phone. The stain is really, really good for being able to resist all that without breaking down, without starting to yellow, without starting to look nasty. And it's just, it's really great for that. Now, before I keep on continuing talking, let's just go ahead and take a look at this. Um, I, I actually didn't expect to like this to be very candid with you guys, but this case just feels pretty sturdy. Uh, without feeling too hard, it still feels, there's there's some give to the sides. Um, so it doesn't feel like hard, hard plastic, but yet it feels sturdy. And I'm a huge, huge fan of this polycarbonate bag that allows you to see that beautiful design, that beautiful texture that we have on the phone. You guys remember my unboxing video, we went over the Samsung Galaxy A02 with that textured bag. And again, because we have a polycarbonate bag, we're still able to appreciate that beautiful bag. And as we can see for the camera, holes are not being covered up in any sort of way. Uh, let's go ahead and continue before I get a little too fanboy on you. Um, and again, the sides are just being kept very clean. I do like the fact that we have um, four corner bumps that, uh, that are raised or extended. They're gonna prevent the phone from bumping itself uh, against too many surfaces. Now, I'm a huge fan of the hole that they left up here in order for you to be able to still uh, get your voice to the microphone just fine. Now on the right side, of course, we have our power button, we have our volume up and volume down keys, and they are very, very easy to press. So here's one thing that I normally hate about having a very, very sturdy case, and that is that the buttons tend to be really, really hard to press. That's not the case here, actually. Um, I'm impressed. <laughs> In addition to that, I really like this uh, this border that they have going around the whole phone. It's like a glossy, it's like a glossy silver, like a glossy gray that you would more like a gunmetal gray that you would see on a, like on a vehicle. I'm a fan of that as well. And then now at the very bottom of the phone, we can see that our uh, speaker grill it has a hole cut out for it. That way, it's not uh, being covered up or it has nothing getting in the way of it. And we also have one more hole for the pinhole microphone down at the bottom. Now, I'm also a huge fan of the fact that the ports are covered up with these little flaps, right? So that's gonna be able to keep out dust out more than anything, and but you do have that open speaker grill, even though uh, manufacturers will put a uh, water resistant mesh right behind it to prevent any sort of splash. Uh, I wouldn't go around, you know, dunking this thing in the water. Uh, as I said earlier today, we have a polycarbonate back and front as well. So I'm, I'm a fan of this one. It actually, it looks pretty clear. It doesn't really get in the way of me being able to use the phone in any way, shape or form. And now the one thing that I'm actually, uh, really, really liking about this is that Poetic gives you the chance to be able to put your own screen protector on this. So. I have a case similar to, oh man, I'm recording off of it, okay. So <laughs> the iPhone that I'm recording off of straight ahead um, on the front view, not the upward one, that view, that one has a case that is very, very similar to this one and it has a polycarbonate front. And I normally, these are fine uh, and, and I like these. However, with, uh, with time going by, um, debris gets underneath the screen, uh, trash gets underneath there and it just starts rubbing and then these will become very, very scratched and they just don't look as nice. Even if you clean them, they're, they're still going to have uh, some scratches and some abrasion in there. Now, Poetic has done a, an amazing job of addressing this by providing you a different uh, face plate to where you will be able to put your own screen protector on. So let me show you what that's going to look like. So all you do is Clearly just remove this one. We're gonna put this aside. And then now this is the additional included faceplate that Poetic has provided for us. So let's go ahead and just put it on. And then you can slide it in there and you can put your own screen protector on this. Now, I just wanted to see what look, you know, what it would look like without it. Um, in case you're, or also in case you're just not a fan of screen protectors, you can just go ahead and have this and you don't have to have a screen protector on because as you can see, the phone is still uh, protected by the sides of the case. So when it lies flat on the ground, it's not gonna touch the screen of the phone. It's not gonna be flush against the ground. It is gonna be raised, what is it, about, what, maybe two millimeters or so off the ground. Um, it's good, I'm, I'm impressed. Let's go ahead and take a look at a screen protector and see what that would look like. Okay, so just in case we were curious as to see what a screen protector would look like on this phone. Let's go ahead and actually find out. 
I actually wasn't planning on putting on a screen protector on this thing, but in the name of science, let's go ahead and find out just exactly how much room or how compatible this uh, front face plate is. And I'm curious, uh, I mean, I don't think so. Okay, so what I'm curious to see is does it give you room for the screen protector to go underneath or does it go side by side and coexist with it? Let's find out. Oh yeah, there's app. Wow. Okay, so there's plenty of room. There's absolutely plenty of room. All right. Let's throw this puppy on. Let's see what this looks like. And just a disclaimer, um, a screen protector is not a glass or a tempered glass screen protector. It's not included with the case. This is uh, gonna have to be purchased separately. But it was just a very, very good example and a very, very good way of me finding out just how compatible uh, the case was or the front face plate was with third-party screen protectors, you know? Oh man, that looks great. Look at that, guys. So th this looks great. I mean, um, again, I was just checking to see if the glass is compatible with it. Boy, is it, you know, it's absolutely compatible with it. And it's a very nice option. And what I'm really liking about this is that Poetic is placing these at $18.95, which, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not expensive, you know, but it's not budget either. It's not super, super cheap. It's not like uh, an $8.95 case you can find on Amazon, you know? Uh, so it's, it's, there's still, you know, it's a, it's a little, you know, it's, it's not, it's not quite bad on the barrel, but then at the same time with that slightly higher price, you do get a slightly nicer case, you know, like this, this definitely feels like 40, $50 territory. If you really ask me, especially when you put this side by side, something like uh, a quick soap product, you know, hold on, let me show you what I mean by that. So. Even though I realize this is not a completely transparent case, with the transparent backing that we have on the phone, I'm gonna guess that this phone is supposed to go, or at least, you know, this case is supposed to be comparable to something like this other clear case that is a quick sell case, and this case goes for $19.99. This case retails for a whole 20 bucks. And it's just a plain clear case, you know, no, no extra added protection, just a plain, simple, run-of-the-mill, clear case, you know? Um, and for the exact same price, actually for a dollar and five cents less, you can get yourself a poetic case with that nice polycarbonate back, nice polycarbonate front if you want to use the in-house screen protector, or just go ahead and swap it out and pop in your own in case you're more of a tempered glass guy like me, you know? Um, I I really, really wasn't expecting to like these and um, uh, <laughs> I, I kind of did, kind of might have to like pick myself up a, a poetic case for myself just because I'm a fan of this car polycarbonate back. Um, maybe with an iPhone, this will look amazing on an iPhone actually. Now that I think about it, I'm gonna ask them for, uh, see if they send us some uh, uh, cases for our iPhones. That'll probably look really nice with uh, the blue iPhone 12. With Poetic does have this listed on their website, again, for $18.95, and they have a bunch of colors available. They have this in black, which is the one that I currently have, and it's a very nice complementing color, especially to the Galaxy AO2S, but they also have it in blue, they have it in green, and they have it in pink. Is that pink? Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Pink, green, blue, and black. And it looks like you pay, you know, you pay a, what is it, you pay $2 more to get the colored one, but... You know, if that's more your thing, definitely go ahead and go for it. Oh, especially if you have, wow, okay, yeah, yeah. I forget that in other markets, there's different colored AO2s. As in my store, all we get is the black ones, you know? And that's pretty good. Uh, one more thing, Poetic does ship outside of the US. Uh, you are just gonna have to pay for shipping. That's the only draw drawback. But, you know, it doesn't really matter where you're in the world. You know, you know my, my Australian friends, my European friends, you know, uh, Usually they have to miss out on a lot of the cool stuff, but you really don't have to, especially with Poetic. Uh, if those are topics you'd like for me to talk about, other items you'd like for me to cover, go ahead and let me know in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.